Columbus, Mississippi. Columbus is a city in the county seat of Lones County, on the eastern border of Mississippi, United States, located primarily east, but also north and northeast of the Tombibee River, which is also part of the Tennessee Tombibee Waterway. It is approximately 146 miles 235 km northeast of Jackson, 92 miles 148 km north of Meridian, 63 miles 101 km south of Tupelo, 60 miles 97 km northwest of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and 120 miles 193 km west of Birmingham. The population was 25,944 at the 2000 census and 23,640 in 2010. The population in 2019 was estimated to be 23,573. Columbus is the principal city of the Columbus Micropolitan Statistical Area, which is part of the larger Columbus-West Point combined statistical area. Columbus is also part of the area of Mississippi called the Golden Triangle, consisting of Columbus, West Point, and Starkville, in the counties of Loams, Clay, and Octabeha. History the first record of the site of Columbus in Western history is found in the annals of the explorer Hernando de Soto, who is reputed to have crossed the nearby Tombigbee River on his search for El Dorado. However, the site does not enter the main continuity of United States history until December 1810, when John Pitchlin, the U.S. Indian agent and interpreter for the Choctaw Nation, moved to Plymouth Bluff, where he built a home, established a farm, and transited Choctaw Agency business. After the Battle of New Orleans, Andrew Jackson recognized the urgent need for roads to connect New Orleans to the rest of the country. In 1817, Jackson ordered a road be built to provide a direct route from Nashville to New Orleans. His surveyor, Captain Hugh Young, chose a place on the Tombigbee River where high ground approached the river on both sides as the location for a ferry to be used for crossing the river when high water prevented fording the river. A military bridge was constructed where the present-day Tombigbee Bridge was later developed in Columbus, Mississippi. Jackson's military road opened the way for development in the area. Founding Columbus was founded in 1819 and, as it was believed to be in Alabama, it was first officially recognized by an Alabama Legislative Act as the town of Columbus on December 6, 1819. Before its incorporation, the town site was referred to informally as Possum Town, a name which was given by the local Native Americans, who were primarily Choctaw and Chickasaw. The name Possum Town remains the town's nickname among locals. The town was settled where Jackson's military road crossed the Tombigbee River four miles south of John Pitchlin's residence at Plymouth Bluff. In 1820, the post office that had been at Pitchlands relocated in Columbus. Pitchlands, which had been settled in 1810, became the town of Plymouth in 1836 and is now the location of an environmental center for Mississippi University for Women. Sealers McBee suggested the name Columbus. In return, a small local creek was named after him. The city's founders soon established a school known as Franklin Academy. It continues to operate and is known as Mississippi's first public school. The territorial boundary of Mississippi and Alabama had to be corrected as, a year earlier, Franklin Academy was indicated as being in Alabama. In fact, during its early post-Mississippi founding history, the city of Columbus was still referred to as Columbus, Alabama. Civil War and Aftermath During the American Civil War, Columbus was a hospital town. Its arsenal manufactured gunpowder, handguns, and a few cannons. Because of this, the Union ordered the invasion of Columbus, but was stopped by Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest. This is substantiated in the book The Battle of West Point, Confederate Triumph at Ellie's Bridge by John McBride. Many of the casualties from the Battle of Shiloh were brought to Columbus. Thousands were eventually buried in the town's Friendship Cemetery. One of the hospitals was located at Annunciation Catholic Church, built in 1863 and still operating in the 21st century. The decision of a group of ladies to decorate the Union 
and Confederate graves with flowers together on April 25, 1866, is an early example of what became known as Memorial Day. A poet, Francis Miles Finch, read about it in the New York newspapers and commemorated the occasion with the poem The Blue and the Gray. Felware and Gardner noted this observance of the holiday in the genesis of the Memorial Day holiday in America 2014. They recognized the events in Columbus as the earliest manifestation of an annual spring holiday to decorate the grave of Southern soldiers. While the call was to celebrate on April 26, several newspapers reported that the day was the 25th in error. As a result of Forrest preventing the Union Army from reaching Columbus, its antebellum homes were spared from being burned or destroyed, making its collection second only to Natchez as the most extensive in Mississippi. These antebellum homes may be toured during the annual pilgrimage, in which the Columbus residences open their homes to tourists from around the country. When Union troops approached Jackson, the state capital was briefly moved to Columbus before moving to a more permanent home in Mackin. During the war, Columbus Attorney Jacob H. Sharp served as a brigadier general in the Confederate Army. After the war, he owned the Columbus Independent newspaper. He was elected to two terms in the State House, serving four years representing the district in the Mississippi House of Representatives. W.P.A. Mural The mural out of the soil was completed in 1939 for the Columbus Post Office by W.P.A. section of painting and sculpture artist Bela Betterworth. Murals were produced from 1934 to 1943 in the United States through the section of the U.S. Treasury Department. 20th Century Columbus has hosted Columbus Air Force Base CAF since World War Roman II. CAF was founded as a flight training school. After a stint in the 1950s and 1960s as a strategic Air Command Assasi base, earning Columbus a spot in Soviet Union target lists, CAF returned to its original role. Today, it is one of only four basic Air Force flight training bases in the United States and prized as the only one where regular flight conditions may be experienced. Despite this, CAF has repeatedly hung in the balance during base realignment and closure BRAC hearings. Columbus boasted a number of industries during the mid-20th century, including the world's largest toilet seat manufacturer, Sanderson Plumbing Products, and major mattress furniture and textile plants. Most of these had closed by 2000. A series of new plants at the Golden Triangle Regional Airport, including the Severstal Mill, the American Eurocopter Factory, the Packer Engine Plant, and the Aurora Flight Sciences Facility, are revitalizing the local economy. Recent History On June 12, 1990, a fireworks factory in Columbus exploded, detonating a blast felt as far as 30 miles away from Columbus. Two workers were killed in the blast. On February 16, 2001, straight-line winds measured at 74 miles per hour destroyed many homes and trees, but resulted in no fatalities. The city was declared a federal disaster area the next day by President George W. Bush. W. Bush. Which W. Bush? W. Bush. 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 Which W. Bush? W. In November 2002, a tornado hit Columbus and caused more damage to the city, including the Mississippi University for Women. In 2010. Columbus won a Great American Main Street Award from the National Trust for Historic Preservation. In February 2019, Columbus took a direct hit from an EF-3 tornado that caused devastating damage to homes and businesses and killed one woman after a structure fell on her. Geography, geography, geography. The city is located approximately 10 by 16 km west of the Mississippi-Alabama state line along U.S. Route 82, U.S. Route 45, and numerous state highways. U.S. 82 leads southeast 29 by 47 km to Reform, Alabama, and west 25 by 40 km to Starkville. 
U.S. 45 leads south 32, my 51 km to Mackin and north 28 my 45 km to Aberdeen. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 22.3 square miles 57.8 square kilometers, of which 21.4 square miles 55.5 square kilometers is land and 0.9 square mile 2.3 square kilometers is water. Large lakes and rivers are nearby, such as the Butahatchee River in northern Lones County that defines the border between Lones and Monroe counties in the middle of the city of Columbus, and Lones County lies the Luxapalilla Creek, and the Tombibi River with the John C. Stenny's Lock and Dam impounding Columbus Lake. Columbus is a relatively flat place in the northern part of Lones County, as the land rises for a short period of time into hills and bluffs, in the southern slash eastern part of the county, the land has rolling hills that quickly turn into flatland floodplains that dominate this county. This county lies in the Black Prairie geographic region and the northeastern hills region of the state slash area. Prairies, forests, and floodplain forests lie here. The soil quality is poor in the eastern part of the county, otherwise, the soil is relatively fertile. Columbus and the surrounding areas are listed as an Arbor Day Hardiness Zone 8 to 10 Deg F or 12.2 Deg C to 15 Deg F or 9.4 Deg C. Note that temperatures in 2010 reached 11 Deg F 12 Deg C, but the Usta Hardiness Zones list the area as Zone 7 5 Deg F or 15.0 Deg C to 10. Climate Demographics 2020 Census as of the 2020 United States Census, there were 24,084 people, 9,572 households, and 5,348 families. 2010 Census As of the 2010 United States Census, there were 23,640 people living in the city. 60.0% were African American 37, 0.4% white, 0.2% Native American, 0.7% Asian, 0.0% Pacific Islander, 0.6% from some other race, and 1.1% of two or more races. 1.4% were Hispanic or Latino of any race, any race, any race. 2000 Census Columbus population has grown steadily since the beginning of the 20th century. In 1900, 6,484 people lived in Columbus. In 1910, 8,988. In 1920, 10,501. And in 1940, 13,645. As of the census of 2000, there were 25,944 people. 10,062 households and 6,419 families living in the city. The population density was 1211.5 people per square mile 467.6 slash km2. There were 11,112 housing units at an average density of 518.9 per square mile 200.3 slash km2. The racial makeup of the city is 43.62% white, 54.41% African American, 0.10% Native American, 0.56% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 0.51% from other races, and 0.79% from two or more. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.13% of the population. There were 10,062 households, out of which 29.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.0% were married couples living together, 21.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 36.2% were non-families. 31.3% of all households were made up of individuals, and 12.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.42, and the average family size was 3.7. In the city, the population was spread out, 
with 26.0% under the age of 18, 12.0% from 18 to 24, 26.6% from 25 to 44, 19.8% from 45 to 64, and 15.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 34 years. For every 100 females, there were 82.6 males. For every 100 females aged 18 and over, there were 75.3 males. The median income for a household in the city was $27,393, and the median income for a family was $37,068. Males had a median income of $30,773 versus $20,000, $182 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,848. Economy Major employers Columbus Air Force Base Baptist Memorial Hospital Golden Triangle Mississippi University for Women Columbus Municipal School District Lones County School District International Paper Columbus Mill and Columbus Modified Fiber Steel Dynamics, Inc., Steel Manufacturer, Packard Diesel Engines, American Eurocopter Military Aircraft, Baldor Electric Motors, Axo Noble Slash Eka Chemicals Sodium Chlorate, Aura Flight Sciences Unmanned Defense Systems, Stark Aerospace Unmanned Defense Systems, Columbus Slash Nemo Tolly Defense Systems, Valmet Paper Machine Rolls and Roll Covers, Arts and Culture Columbus is the birthplace of playwright Tennessee Williams, whose grandfather was the priest of St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Williams was born in the rectory on Main Street, which is now the Tennessee Williams Home Museum and Welcome Center. Education Columbus is home to a state university, the Mississippi University for Women. The MUW campus is also home to the Mississippi School for Mathematics and Science, a state-funded public boarding school for academically gifted high school juniors and seniors. The city's public high school under the Columbus Municipal School District is Columbus High School, located in the eastern part of town. It is the largest high school in the city and fifth largest in the state, enrolling approximately 1370 students. Columbus High School was formed by the merger of the city's two previous high schools, Stephen D. Lee High School and Caldwell High School. The schools were merged in 1992 and the campuses in 1997. Columbus is also home to the oldest public elementary school in Mississippi, Franklin Academy Elementary, founded in 1821. Desegregated in 1970, Lee High School received a state award for the high school with the best race relations. Prior to desegregation, the school formed a race relations committee consisting of black and white students who could discuss issues and determine how to handle certain situations. For instance, the students decided to have both white and black homecoming courts so as to prevent sides being taken along racial lines. However, black students were allowed to vote for the white homecoming court and vice versa. The school went undefeated in football in 1970, which helped unite the student body. Students were ranked based on achievement score tests and divided into three groups in order to allow each group to learn at their own pace. This practice was in place prior to integration. It was continued after integration for a period, but such tracking was later ruled to be unconstitutional by a federal court because it was based on biased testing. It did not take into account differences in preparation in earlier grades. The Lones County School District operates three high schools, Caledonia, New Hope, and West Lones, fed by similarly named elementary and middle schools. Columbus has several private schools, including Columbus Christian Academy, formerly Emanuel Christian School, Caymanus 3 through 12, Heritage Academy Christian, Caymanus 12, Annunciation Catholic School Catholic, Caymanus 8, Victory Christian Academy Christian, Caymanus 12, Palmer Home for Children Orphanage. Media
Columbus City newspapers are the daily except Saturday's Commercial Dispatch, the weekly Thursday's Columbus Packet, and the Internet-only paper, Real Media, formerly The Real Story. On television station, WCBI-TV4, the CBS affiliate, is located in the city's historic downtown area. It broadcasts CW and My Network TV programming on digital subchannels. Two magazines are published in Columbus. The New Power Magazine, a regional urban magazine, and Columbus Fire and Rescue Magazine. Columbus is also served by television stations from the Columbus slash Tupelo slash West Point DMA, ranked NOM 133 nationally. These include NBC affiliate WTVA9, its DT2 subchannel, which is the market's ABC affiliate, and Fox affiliate WLOVE TV27. Radio stations include 103.1 Sports Talk slash Espen Radio, 94.1 Top 40, 99.9 Rock, 92.1 Hip Hop, 100.9 Talk Radio Super Talk Mississippi, 93.3 Easy Listening slash Top 40, 104.5 Christian Radio slash Club, Infrastructure, Transportation, Columbus lies on U.S. Highways 82 and 45. It is also served by state routes 1250, 69, and 182. Columbus is the eastern terminus of the Columbus and Greenville Railway. It is also served by the BNSF Railway on the original right-of-way of the St. Louis-San Francisco Railway, the Norfolk Southern, and the Alabama Southern Railroad using the original right-of-way of the Gulf, Mobile and Ohio Railroad. The local airport is Golden Triangle Regional Airport. The airport currently has three flights a day to Atlanta. The city is located on the east bank of the Tombigbee River and the associated Tennessee Tombigbee Waterway. Columbus Lake, formed by the John C. Stenny's Lock and Dam, is approximately two miles north of downtown. The Luxapalula Creek runs through the town, separating East Columbus from Columbus proper. Both are within city limits. The Lux, as it is locally known, joins the Tombigbee about three miles south of downtown. Notable people. 